right, back to Thailand now. An American man has pleaded guilty to insulting Thailand's monarchy, an offence that carries up to 15 years in prison. The judges will give their verdict next month. Now, Thai born Joe Gordon lived in the US state of Colorado for about 30 years before returning to Thailand for medical treatment. He was arrested in May and charged with using the internet to spread information that insulted the monarchy. The 55 year old had translated excerpts from an unauthorized biography of the king and posted it on his blog. He was also accused of providing a web link to the biography, which is banned in Thailand. Mr. Gordon's calling on Washington to help release him. The number of people accused of insulting the monarchy has shot up in the years following Thailand's military coup in 2006. The kingdom has the world's toughest laws on Les Majesty. Criticism of the law is taboo and the nature of the alleged offences is kept secret. And again, we speak to our correspondent, Saksit Sayasombad um, in Bangkok. So, Saksit, I understand that there's an issue over the defendant's passports. Tell us more about this. Yes, Glenn, it is certainly interesting. Joe Gordon, the defendant, he is a dual citizen. He has both a U.S. and a Thai passport, and he claims to enter the country with it, uh, with a U.S. passport, hence as a U.S. citizen. But by the looks of it, the Thai authorities are treating this case like it has been, um, uh, has been done by somebody who has a Thai, as they, as they refer to him only by his original Thai name during the arrest earlier this, um, earlier this year. Glenda? Okay, now the nature of this particular case, you know, that the offences were committed online, it also um, uh, poses uh, complications and challenges, right? Um, not necessarily uh, complications and challenges, but um, the fact is the defendant was in the United States when he did these alleged crimes. Now, the country's Computer Crimes Act, Article 7, and I quote, says that any person, no matter if Thai or not, commits an offense, including Les Majest, outside the kingdom, will be punished inside the country, which means whenever he enters the country, he will be arrested. Now, it is rather interestingly uh, to see what the understanding of the Thai authorities towards the internet is. Critics see this as a big ana anachronistic problem. This brings up the big question of jurisdiction in general, right, with the internet, because the internet is uh, boundaryless. Um, and so uh, I think this is, this was something that the Thai officials have not uh, really come to grasp. They, they don't actually grasp the difficulty and the remedy, ramifications of this. Chris. Criticism against this law is growing here in Thailand and also by the international community. At a recent hearing of the United Nations Human Rights Council, several countries have um, recommended Thailand to amend the Les Majestic Law in, in, in order to bring the freedom of expression of Thailand in line with international standards. Back to you, Glenda. All right, I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. Thanks there for that update. Saksis Sayasombat speaking to us from Bangkok.